Hey folks, David Stewart here. It's time for part four of my little publishing series. And I want to help you answer a question today, and that is whether or not you as an author ought to design or create your own book cover or whether you ought to hire somebody else to do it for you. I am going to go a little bit deeper into book cover design in some follow-up videos, which I do recommend you watch so you don't have to make this decision at the end of this video. However, I would like to provide some really broad and very important information for you as an author to help you make this decision because there are some big advantages to designing your own book cover and there are some big disadvantages and a lot of times we're not as aware of the disadvantages for some reasons I'll get into. So uh, I designed my own book covers and uh, this is an example of one where I did the photocopying, the design, I did everything. And here's one where I simply designed the typefacing, I simply designed the fonts, the words, and then I licensed an image. Both of these are options that you can use if you're going to design your own book cover. Uh, obviously, if you know about graphic design and typography and, and that kind of stuff, you can just put some type on a licensed image. I made this in like, 20 minutes. I think I did it in a live stream. Um, or you, if you're a little bit more advanced user, um, you can create your own photo composites for whatever books that you happen to be designing. Um, however, hiring someone to do it for you also has some big advantages. So the first advantage to doing it yourself is that it is cheap. And this is the the reason really that I do it as opposed to hiring it out because I lose time when I'm designing my own book cover. It takes up my time, it takes up several hours for me to really get something that I think is good enough to sell. And I could be spending that time writing more books and just hire that out to another person. But the savings in terms of money can be pretty profound, particularly when you're starting out. So if I'm paying two or three hundred dollars to a designer to design a book cover, well, that two or three hundred dollars I have to make up that two or three hundred dollars with book sales in order for the investment to be worth it. Now, if you're going to invest in anything as an author, if you're going to spend money on anything, the book cover is where you want to put your money. It is the best piece of advertising for your book. It is the most important thing when it comes to marketing your book is the quality of your book cover. So don't feel bad like you are dropping two or three hundred dollars down the toilet. That two or three hundred dollars is an investment in getting people to pay attention to your book. It's very, very important. Uh, but for me, if I'm saving three hundred dollars, that means on a 99 cent book, which this is a 99 cent ebook, if you buy it on Amazon, uh, I have to sell far fewer copies. And I have to sell like 900 copies in order to make back the cost of designing the cover, whereas uh, the cost of licensing the image, maybe it's like 10 bucks, right? So I only have to sell 30 copies, which I sold the first day uh, without any problems. So uh, for me, the, the savings on money is pretty good because that always puts me in the black. That always means I have money that I can use for advertising, right? So if I use that $300 to advertise the book, I'm and even if I lose money on the advertising, I'm pretty much breaking even compared to actually paying for the book cover. Uh, another reason that I like to design my own covers is that I am sure of the quality. Now, um, here's the thing where a lot of authors are a little bit blind when it comes to book covers is that if they don't have a background in graphic design or they don't have an art background. They may not be fully equipped to judge the quality of a book cover, particularly one that they made themselves. I'm going to provide more input on this in a follow-up video that is the basics of cover design. Uh, but for now, let's just say that I am pretty sure that I can get pretty high quality, at least good enough quality uh, that it's going to sell um, with my book covers. And I don't feel like uh, I need to step up a three, four, five hundred dollars, sometimes more to get a really expensive book cover to make up any kind of difference I have with my skill. Uh, but I'm very good at evaluating book covers. I've been doing this a while. I've been designing them a while. I've been marketing books a while. I've been paying attention for a while. If you're new at this, you may not be fully equipped to do that. Uh, but I'm sure of the quality. Whereas if I hire another person and I pay the money and it comes out and I just don't think it's as high a quality as it needs to be, that's a problem. But if I look at my own, I can work on the cover and develop it until I feel like it is high enough quality for me to put out there. Or if I feel like my skill is not high enough to do that, then I can always go and hire another person to do the actual cover design if I don't feel like I'm skilled enough to actually create a high enough quality. So that's another reason is that I can be very, very sure of the quality I'm going to uh, provide. Now, there's some big advantages to hiring someone to do it. The first one is that if somebody is doing it you know, professionally, then they have, you know, orders of magnitude more experience 
designing covers than you do. And the professional cover designers have order of magnitude more experience designing covers than I do because I just really design my own covers and design covers for friends sometimes or, or you know, a couple authors here or there that I know that just need a quick, cheap book cover done. Um, so they are going to be better at it, which means they're going to do it in less time. They're going to be do, able to do it at a higher quality, particularly if they have a lot of experience in the genre that you are writing in. Um, that's going to help a lot. The other reason is that because of that experience, they also know what goes into a good genre book cover, and that may not be obvious to you as a uh, writer. Writers tend to look at book covers as artists because they're artists. And rather than looking at it as a piece of ad copy, they look at it as some piece of art that is needs to be going with the book in ways that it doesn't really need to if you look at it from a marketer's perspective. And so a book cover designer will, will be able to look at it from a little bit broader um broader perspective and make help you make decisions about the cover design that's going to help the book sell. So they have a little bit more ex, uh, experience there. The other thing is you're saving your time. So if it takes you 10 hours to design a book, a good book cover, that's 10 hours that you could spend, you know, recording the audiobook or writing another book or revising your manuscript or anything else. So there's a lot of advantages to hiring an artist. In general, for most authors, I recommend that you either buy a pre-made book cover or you hire somebody, you commission a cover designer to design a cover. This is for most people. And the reason for that is that most people either don't have the time to develop the skills necessary to put out a good book cover or they don't have the artistic and graphic design background that is necessary to make the good decisions about how to actually put together a book cover that looks like uh, it belongs on the Amazon store. Um, that it's just a, there's enough of a skill gap that I just for most writers I recommend you don't really bother with it. Your talent may not be in the visual arts. Of course, if you are an artist, or you are a graphic designer in addition to writing books then, and you don't have experience designing book covers per se, well, then you can learn book cover design and you can learn what goes into making good book covers. And if you're good at analyzing um, the way I am, then you'll be able to look at lots of book covers in your genre and be like, okay, I know what elements I need to put in my book cover to make it uh, what it needs to be to sell. So if you have that background, then it's it could be a really good investment. I invested my time and energy in learning how to design book covers so that I wouldn't have to pay other people. And actually, here's another advantage to me designing my own book cover that I didn't mention. So last one, I can do it on my timeline. If I am hiring another book cover designer, if I'm commissioning a book cover, now I'm working on their timeline. And it may take them a month to get to my project. It may take them weeks. And if I'm designing it myself, I could do rapid release by just designing my own book covers and putting them out whenever I feel like putting the book out. I'm on my schedule rather than somebody else's timeline. Now, this doesn't apply if you're going to buy a pre-made book cover. And buying a pre-made book cover is probably going to be one of your cheapest options if you're not going to design your own book cover and may actually be cheaper than designing your own if you factor into the if factor into account the cost of licensing the images that you're going to use to create the book cover. I happen to have a licensing image subscription that's part of um, my YouTube business because I use those stock photos for thumbnails and things like that. So for me, I, it's not a big value loss to license images, but for other people, if you're going to spend $50 licensing images for your book cover, well, then you could spend $50 buying a pre-made book cover. So the cheapest, the cheapest way to go about this is if you are good at design, designing your own book cover, that's the cheapest, followed by a very cheap pre-made book cover. And I will probably create a couple videos on looking at some cheap pre-made book covers. These are book covers that somebody just sits down and starts designing book covers and they put them up on their website, a bunch of different variations for different genres. You find the one that fits your book, you buy it, they put your type typing on it, and then there's your book cover. Hopefully they provide you with a Photoshop file or whatever program they're using, usually Photoshop, which means that you can change the words later on if you need to. So if your book becomes part of a series, you can then you know put book one on it without having to do a whole lot of um, kind of hacky work or having to ask the, uh, the original designer to, hey, can you add book one onto this thing that I bought like two years ago? So it's good to have the, the Photoshop file.
if you can get that. So that's the next cheapest level. And then uh, there's also more expensive pre-made covers that are $100, $150. And once you get past that, you're looking at commissioning someone to design the cover, which is usually several hundred dollars, $200 and up. Uh, and it could be as high, you know, as $1,500, $2,000 to design a book cover. Now, $1,500 to $2,000 for people who are beginning authors is simply going to be too much money for your investment. You're not uh, you're not deep enough in the business yet for, for you to be able to recover that $1,500. Uh, you have to think if you're selling a small book, like a little mini book like I've been helping people write, $1,500 is going to be that times three uh, to the number of copies you have to sell. So you're looking at 4,500 copies to recover the cost of that. 4,500 book uh, book copies is a lot. It's very hard to sell 4,500 copies of a book. So I tend to say, look on the cheaper side, especially if you're starting out, $50 to $150 will get you a good book cover and any other money that you have in your budget, you can spend on advertising or something else to enhance the value of what you're offering. So hopefully that will help you make a decision should you design your own book cover or not. For most people, I recommend you look at somebody else's design. However, I still recommend you you watch the follow-up video to this, which is going to be basics of book cover design because you need to be able to look at a book cover and know what design elements are in it, know whether they're functioning for your genre, and know if a cover design that you want to hire is actually going to do a good job for you. And I'll also have a video for how to find um, some book cover designers. So that'll be a little bit later on as well. So thanks so much for watching. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. The right stream happens every Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific time. And uh, you can hop in, ask questions, and uh, talk to me. We're going to be talking about publication this week and I think next week as well. So thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time.